Okay guys, we shall continue. Before I continue about the abnormal head posture, let us try to understand diplopia again. Diplopia can also be divided into monocular and binocular. Binocular diplopia means you are seeing two images with both the eyes and monocular you are seeing with just one eye. Remember the most common most common cause of monocular is cataract you have dry eye and you have subluxated lens but the most common for binocular diplopia is squint okay so that's about diplopia now let us try to understand abnormal head posture okay Ab abnormal head posture So I'm writing in short AHP. So imagine imagine the right eye, okay. The right eye is having ESO. It's that is inward, okay. So what my body will try to compensate uh, my face will turn towards the right as my body turns towards the right this kind of will come to center okay an abnormal health posture is seen in restrictive and paralytic squint okay so remember this in this our body is trying to adjust to put the image near in near the phobia so what is actually happening in diplopia that is we are having two eyes they are both image two images form and two images are for fused into one our retina is the most sensitive part of retina is phobia if both the images are formed and retin uh, not form on the phobia and are not able to fuse then we are having diplopia okay that is what we are having so uh, let us see if we have something known as face turn face is turning right or left okay so this means we are having some problem with the horizontal muscle what are the muscle which are present in horizontal fashion in our eye that is lateral rectus and medial rectus some issue with this two muscle okay Along with this, if we have chin or chin depression, chin depress, then we have some problem with the up and down, right? Up and down. That means we have some problem with the vertical muscle. That is the superior rectus. And the inferior rectus okay along with this if we have head tilt so we have an oblique kind of fashion okay oblique muscles so what are the oblique muscles in our eye those are superior oblique and inferior oblique okay that's what we need to understand in uh, abnormal head position yes along with diplopia will be having disorientation the person will not be able to say where is day night it will be confused along with this the person will also say he will feel like vomiting because our eye also uh, maintains a huge role in understanding the balance now we will go to important topic is comet and squint comet and squint let me uh, let me tell you by the previous picture. We have tropia. We are divided in comitant and incomitant. Comitant means both the angles in primary, secondary, tertiary are same. Okay. So in this incomitant squint, we don't need to treat most of the time. We don't need to treat. There is no functional problem. Only there is some cosmetic issue with the comitant squint. Okay. Now let us see how comitant squint is divided. It is divided into accommodative. non accommodative okay 
accommodative squint means this squint is due to uncorrected refractive error okay if we give glasses treatment is give glasses if we give glasses and the squint is corrected that means it was accommodative squint but if it is not due to a refractive error then this is non committent it is not okay so what is the treatment here the treatment here is surgery okay now this surgery will be divided into uh, two types resection and a resection Recession means to make the muscle more weaker and resection means to make the muscle more stronger Imagine this is the muscle. So if I give a cut here and I join this muscle this muscle The size will reduce and this muscle will become stronger, but where else if this is the insertion site, okay Let us say if this is the insertion it is the origin and if I place this muscle cut and put it over here Okay, that means this muscle will become weaker so the surgery is either make the muscle weaker or make the muscle stronger or combination of both. There are three types of surgery but usually we do make the muscle weaker at the same time make the another muscle stronger. Okay. Imagine this is my eye. So I have the rectus muscle here. This is the medial rectus and this is the lateral rectus. Now imagine if my medial rectus is very strong as compared to this my eye will go like this. Okay. So second case let us see. If my lateral rectus is not functioning, it is it is normal power only, but my lateral rectus is not functioning. That means it is not opposing any power. So obviously it will come like this. So at this moment, if it comes like this, so what I have to do, I have to make this muscle weaker and I have to make this muscle stronger. That is the whole principle of surgery, how we do the surgery. Okay. So now let us come to comedian squint again, incombinate squint again. Let us go where I go. Okay. Incombinant squint, okay. Incombinant squint is including paralytic and restrictive, okay. So let us see incombinant squint. Okay, so we have incombinant squint. We have due to nerve paralysis. Or neuromuscular disorder okay neuromuscular disorder I want you to remember this very carefully okay and we have restrictive okay restrictive so now what will happen here is that and yes another thing in uh, Due to diplopia, okay, due to diplopia, there will be a lot of problem for the patient, lot of patient problem for the patient. Now, where we will find the diplopia, the maximum, where we will find an incompetent squint, okay, we will find the maximum diplopia in incompetent squint. In incompetent squint, there will be no diplopia. In incompetent squint, there will be diplopia. Now, how we can treat diplopia? There are mainly three techniques, either by prism or botulism. Toxin or patching. We will give patching in the squint tie. Okay, we will cover the squint tie. So if we cover the squint tie due to binocular uh, fusion, there will be no for image formation. So let us see both the if eyes are like this. But if my eye is like this, this this uh, abnormal eye will the image will not be formed onto the phobia. It will be formed somewhere else. So if I cover this, then my work is done. And this is normal again same thing but if I cover this also or this also anyone I that means in any simple words if both the images are not formed on the phobia there will be diplopia so remove one eye okay remove one eye means just patch the eye the so, treatment of this uh, nerve and incompetent squint main treatment here is that we need to treat the underlying cause underlying cause means mostly diabetes trauma or or the hypertension it requires around three to six months but uh, Diplopia will be very very challenging. So what we do we treat the underlying cause along with that we give 
management for the diplopia that is the main simple technique with it so this muscle nerve will require around 3 to 6 months okay in incompetent squid so we will treat the underlying cause along with that we will give uh, management for diplopia okay so now how do we do? We'll patch the eye at the same time. We'll give prism. If we give some prism, there's another prism, prism known as special type prism known as prismal prism. This means if this is the glass, it's having line lines like this line. So it is very cosmetically accepted. Okay, patching is not accepted. It'll look like pirates. And botulism toxin means if you give this toxin, okay, that muscle will become paralyzed. It is also used in uh, cosmetic uses. Cosmetic if the wrinkles and all that formation if you give that muscle will become paralyzed that means the wrinkles are released The same time here the muscle which is very strong if we give my, my injection on the Strong muscle it will make it weak. Okay, make sure you do not give on the weaker muscle that will make the condition more worse We need to give muscle onto the weaker muscle. Okay, we need to give on the weaker muscle Then Example if the lateral rectus is paralyzed, okay. If the lateral rectus is paralyzed, lateral rectus is weaker, we will give on the middle rectus, okay. In simple words, so now let us go to the next topic now.